Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and today we are here for another review. And today I am reviewing this pen, the Caveco Ebonite Sport. The Caveco Ebonite Sport is a pen that is, was recently released. It was sent to me by Caveco for review, so thank you a lot for sending me this pen. And I'm showing it to you. It is a commem commemorative pen of the 140th anniversary of Caveco brand. So the pen comes inside this paper, a uh, light cardboard box, and it says in celebration of 140 years, it has some text about the pen here and it's it. it. It has a quite a vintage look to it. It is a limited edition as far as I know, although I'm not sure of how many uh, items, how uh, many units were made. Then you have here 140 years, again some text about it. Premium quality writing instrument established in 1883. So it is a very interesting box. It really has a very um, old vintage look to it and I like that. However, however, it may seem a little bit on the cheap side and we'll go on to that in a moment because I think that's something that is important to talk about is the price and other related uh, stuff. Let me just separate the tripod a little bit from the table so when I touch the table the tripod doesn't vibrate and the camera also doesn't. So that's it. So here we have it, this red cardboard box. It has this kind of black silk paper. The pen comes with some care instructions because it talks about it being made of ebonite and so it will oxidize with time and that you can polish it if you want and if you want to have it to, to delay the oxidation of the Ebonite, you should keep it away from direct sunlight. Then it comes with a black sticker that we already know so well from Caveco pens. It comes with this little history leaflet and the certificate. And then we have a box of spare cartridges. And this is something that I really like because you have these, you have here, and I think Kavec should do it more. That's at least my opinion. They have uh, 10 inks that they currently have in their um, portfolio. Actually, they have 11. There is a yellow highlight ink, but it's not sold as a bottle, just as cartridges and it's for a specific pen so I'm not sure. I think it really doesn't make that much sense to have it here but they have the 10 regular inks here so you can test them and I think this is a great idea. This is some idea that they are using here that they used before when they released these twist and out uh, cartridge container. This is the, the most recent version of it. This is a, it holds some cartridges inside and you just twist them and the cartridge pop out like that. And what we have here is this kind of concept. You have different, let me show them because they are color coded on the bottom. You have the several cartridges here so you can uh, decide which color you, you can test several colors and I think to test colors is an important thing and people are usually crazy about ink and they will buy it just for testing. So this is a concept that was created with this twist and out. It usually had all the same royal blue ink cartridges. Now they have the they have more colors. I think it's very fun to have these kind of putting whatever inside and in a random condition and just twist and have the ink that comes out first. Okay, but this was an aside part, so it comes with this box with the 
10 cartridges and then it has a slot there to have the clip and here is the pen and I already put the clip in the pen on the pen and so it is the gold plated nostalgia clip for this pen now I'm using this background it is awful because it gets lots of tiny dust speckles and particles and fibers but you already know and when I asked people my followers if I should uh, change the background people said no keep your burlap background because it's yours okay so that's what I did so what we have here is a pen entirely made of ebonite very very light and it has these kind of two colors a dark brown and a lighter reddish brown and it really feels like uh, if the look of it is if it was um, wood and I think this is really really a gorgeous pen so it has the go it comes with the clip that you can put or not engraved in one of the facets it has Caveco Ebonite Sport it doesn't have the E on the end so it's not Ebonite I think maybe Ebonite is like you say it in German in Portugal we would say Ebonite also so you have there the logo with gold plated and you have a steel nib also gold plated this is a medium nib the usual nib and feet not any special nib for this special edition not gold just still gold plated and I inserted here a cartridge with Caveco Caramel Brown and this is the pen so I guess by now you already know the Caveco Sport pens I think so you have a pen that is round at the top it goes wider a little bit there and then it comes with uh, eight facets so it has an octagonal shaped cap then you have a kind of cylindrical pen a hourglass very slightly hourglass shaped section with threads you have a number five nib and you have a small very soft step there and you have this end part so this is the, how the pen looks like to let's go for some details to unscrew the cap you have one turn one, one turn and three quarters I would say not bad uh, I, I, I really like this finish I have to say that the the color is very very beautiful I love I love these kind of details that you can see here it's really really a gorgeous pen in my opinion the feel reminds me some Caveco art sport pens uh, I have to say that the pen uh, costs 375 euros okay this is a point of some controversy the pen is expensive yes it is there is no doubt and besides that it comes with no converter however converters for the Caveco Sport are not that useful I think it's better to fill them with cartridges I don't feel that is a problem some people say it should be a piston filler I would disagree about that but that's just me it doesn't need to be a piston filler to be more expensive or to be more interesting in my opinion but the price yes it is a little bit expensive some people say it should have a gold nib instead of a steel nib and the box could be better there are two kind of ideas about this mine is that actually because i'm getting I, i'm keeping this pen for myself as a Caveco collector and because I, I collect Caveco and I use them I really transfer them all to some big fiv, uh, 48 pen cases and I prefer not to have 
expensive or good or large boxes so this is quite fine for me but I think it could be an option to have this pen with a wooden box if you would prefer like if you pay just a little bit more or you pay a little bit less and you got this and you could get the special box or you could have some leather sleeve for it I think it would be nice but that's how Kavek went uh, about the prices I have to say that people people say that we can get the Kavek Art Sport for less than that yes you can if the Kavek Sport Art Sport is still available new in some store if it's not available new in some store that still has some stock if you go for an older pen let me show you this one that I brought here to the table for comparison this is Kavek Art Sport from second generation this is called Amber if you find this pen you will easily pay around 500 euros so and which kind of nib does it have okay <laughs> this was not uh, I changed the nib it has a, a premium nib that I put here but the nib it came with was just a regular st uh, steel gold plated nib this is also a steel gold, nib, gold plated nib so you could this pen would be very very expensive expensive if available and I don't think it would have any material advantage over this one so I think really Kavek is just playing inside the price ranges that are available out there because if you want to have the same writing experience of this pen you can buy a plastic ABS sport to use with it uh, and you have the same nib and same experience but if you are a collector you're going for this expensive yes and justifiably expensive that's a matter for a long discussion that maybe I will have here someday and I'm sure that I will get into no final conclusion another thing that I want to say because people may ask is about the weight this pen is very very light with without the clip but with ink the pen weighs 10 grams a classic sport made of plastic weighs 11 grams so this is the lightest Kavek sport I have and but it is okay with the clip it gets a little bit heavier I didn't uh, weigh it with the clip but I think it's really nice because when you post by the way this is how Kavek sport works short pocket pens but people that say Kavek sport are short pens they are not when they are uh, posted and this is something that I want to talk about when I make the pen comparisons but let's go for just a little bit um, for some for just uh, some small consideration so it has this beautiful finish this will darken with time this will get duller because it will oxidize naturally with the sunlight and with the sulfur that is released from the rubber you can polish it let me show you how some other pens behave I have here a Kavek uh, eyedropper 1910 which is a replica of an older model and it actually it is not an eyedropper pen and you can already see some oxidation there it's getting a little bit more kind of an olive green instead of a dark black I, I brought here to the table also another pen made of ebonite and it has some stripes there some lines engraved and I also brought here to the table another pen uh, 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 this is a, a Parker DQ this is a Parker Senior Dufault from the 1920s beautiful pen with a beautiful nib this pen has parts that are made of celluloid and some parts are made of hard rubber and you can see like here you can see the difference between the blind cap and the barrel of the pen this one gets a little bit oxidized 
So, the good thing about this Caveco is that it can be polished, yes, but unlike this one, it doesn't have all these little engravings, so you can polish it lots of times without losing detail. The only detail you have is the Kavec Ebony Sport engraved there and it's quite deep, so you will not get it um, faint over time very easily. So this is a way, uh, this is a good thing that it doesn't, ho doesn't have lots of details when you are trying to polish it to the as new finish. So, for comparisons, what do I have here? I have to say that I said this compares a lot in my mind with the Caveco Art Sport. So, but Caveco Art Sport is heavier. I have the Caveco Art Sport Amber, which is, which is a beautiful pen, but it is a much um, more kind of a caramel brown some, in some places. In some places it also is almost matches this kind of lighter brown. And I have here also the Caveco Classic Sport Tabac, which matches the darkest colors on the Ebonite Sport. Just for comparison, the pen is the same size, the same everything. About the kind of pattern, which actually ends being some kind of stripes. It reminds me the only striped Caveco Sport pen that I know of, which is the Caveco Art Sport Samba, which has these stripes, but it is made of acrylic. This one has a gold nib. And you can see it has some stripes, but different material and it doesn't kind of try to emulate the wood pattern that this one can have. About size comparisons, I have here the Lamy Safari Original Terra, which is a full-size pen, and I have the Parker Centennial Dual-Fold Pinstripe Chocolate. And you can see the Cavex Sport is really a small pen. These are normal, normal to large sized pens. But when you talk about writing with the pens, you write with the Parker Duffel or with Lamy Safari uncapped, and they will be this size or unposted. Sorry, and the Cavex Sport is meant to be used posted. And when you post the Cavex Sport, it becomes almost of the size of the other two, just a little bit shorter. So sometimes people say, no, but that's a very short pen, very small pen. It is not. When you are using it on your hand, it's not small. We have all some kind of preconception of what we find small or not. And we, are, we have this preconception of saying it's too small, it is too slim. The Lamy Safari Grip is slimmer than the Kavec Sport grip. I'm not saying the Kavec Sport is perfect for everyone, I'm just saying it's not as small as people say, because it will become the size of almost a Parker Centennial Dufault. So, this is my take on the Kavec Ebonite Sport regarding the price and all the details. I will uh, put the camera down a little bit and we'll go for the writing sample. So here we have our pen and paper and let's start. What we have here is, let me post the pen to write with. What we have here is the, let's see if the focus can keep up with us. This is the Caveco Ebonite Sport with a medium steel nib. The ink inside the pen is the Caveco. This is always a nightmare to have this focus. Caveco Caramel Brown. And the paper is the usual Rodia.pet. And about the writing of this pen. I have to say that the pen writes very well and smoothly, as usual, 
with a Caveco Sport, in my opinion. I know many people complain, I don't have that experience. That's me. About the, the behavior of the nib, yes, it, it behaves like a, a fine medium nib, it's on the finer side of the medium and it has no natural line variation. Of course, we can try to get some line variation and if you press it a little bit harder, you'll have a thicker line, but not much and it will not be kind of a natural flow of your writing. So it, I would say it, that makes no sense if you want a writing, uh, if you want a, a pen that flexes, you, you, you get a a pen with a flex nib. This is not the way it was meant to be. About the wetness. This is how wet it is. Usually Caveco nibs are not very wet. That's something that's true. I find the older nibs, the medium nibs, like the ones we have here. Let me just go back here to show you. Like the nibs we have here on the Samba, on the Tango Sport which have that, you can see that the, it's not because of in gold or not, it has a fine the F inside of a circle. The ones that have an M inside the circle, I'm not sure if this, no, this is not, okay, I don't have any here, but the ones that have a medium inside the circle, they are the one of, like, I think this one is the, uh, the, the eyedropper. Yes, this kind of design, is of the nib is one of the wettest nibs and when they come with the, the the right feed which was this kind of feed and there is another one with a slit in between they are wetter pens than these are also the caramel brown ink is not a wet ink the pen behaves very well it doesn't dry when it is closed i really like that this is something that i find in most caveco pens they don't really dry while not in use and that's something that i really find very nice now i will just make a longer quote from my favorite book ever that i told you about once and i will just put some lines here for you to see how it behaves i will speed the video and then that's it Okay, I went out of the frame, but I guess you can see the, the writing is very regular. What is not regular here is my handwriting, which is very ugly and very incoherent, but it writes well, good ink flow, no skips, anything. So it's a very good pen, but that's how you know all the Cavex ports to be, at least in my opinion. And so this is the Cavex Ebonite Sport. An expensive one, special edition, so you can now judge for yourself or through me, you have the idea, you have some insight about this pen. So this is all I had to show you today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Kavek for sending me this pen for review and I hope to meet you here on the channel soon. So see you next time. Bye.